Hi everyone, Dr. Katie Snow. Stay tuned because today we're going to talk about boosting your mitochondria without spending an arm and a leg. So our bodies are electrical. They use the Earth's electrons, uh, the Earth's magnetism, and the other elements and the water to actually stay electrical. It uses the sun's cadence to actually have a circadian rhythm. For far too long, we have become inside beings staring at screens, and also having rubber soles over our feet blocking the Earth's electrons. We have become separated from these fundamental health practices like grounding and then waking and going to sleep with the sun and just being outdoors in nature. The price to pay is our mitochondria have become sicker. Our mitochondria are the powerhouse or the ATP or energy makers in our cells. When our mitochondria malfunction or we just don't have enough of them, or they're losing electrons and not able to do their job properly, our bodies become sicker. So how can we fix this? Today, we're gonna to talk about 10 different categories to boost our mitochondria naturally and without spending a lot of money. So number one is decreasing artificial light. So long ago, we would use the sun's light and then when electricity came along, we would use different types of natural lighting. Incandescent lighting came about and it was still a healthy form, but these days we have a lot of unhealthy, unnatural forms of artificial light. So we have LED screens, whether that's a TV or an iPad or even our cell phones. And then we also have artificial lighting in our homes with the different like can lights, fluorescent lights that are using um, these different unnatural, unhealthy bulbs. So, I wanted to just share some um, some easy tips on how to update our lighting in our home or just use it in a more practical way. So when you go now to Lowe's or different hardware stores, you'll notice that it's very hard to find incandescent lighting. So what we have found is ordering on Amazon and I don't type in the word incandescent. So I'll actually type in the word service light and you'll find incandescent bulbs. So because people that are builders, contractors, they'll actually use these service lights because they're more inexpensive, they're cheaper. And then once the owner comes in, they'll actually change the lights out for a more expensive LED or a longer lasting light bulb. So this is just one way for us to be a little healthier in using these service lights. There are applications where you won't be able to use an incandescent light, say in a can light where you need the bigger flood bulbs. And so in that sense, if you have a part of your house where you can't substitute an incandescent bulb, just keep those lights off as much as you can during the day. And especially once the sun sets, you'll want to use your lamps that have these service bulbs in them, or also maybe just a red light or even candle light. So these are just healthier options. If you will be looking at screens after dark and during the day, if you're using a lot of your computer a lot during the day, there are options to help protect your body and that's using the colored lenses. So during the day, you can use a yellow lens such as this and they do make prettier versions, more stylish versions on Amazon, I've seen them. But during the day, it would be a yellow tint. And then after the sun goes down and you're still looking at a screen, whether you're watching a movie or doing some computer work, you would use an orange lens after the sun goes down. So again, these are just healthier options to, um, to not have that screen where it's yelling at you that it's 12 o'clock noon and you need to tell your body that it's actually the time that it is by having these protective lenses. And then number two will be grounding. So a lot of biohackers already know the importance of putting their bare feet on the earth and taking those electrons in from the earth's surface. And so going outside at least 15 minutes a day with your bare feet on the earth, it can be grass, it can be dirt, but it does need to be in a moist area if possible, but there's no minimal or no maximum amount of time. The benefit is there as long as you have your feet on the bare earth. So you're actually picking up the electrons from the earth. This is actually the most abundant antioxidant. You can't take an antioxidant supplement that's more powerful than putting your feet on the bare earth. So grounding is, you know, number two, and it's probably number one on the list for zero cost and ease where you could just take your shoes off and put them bare on the earth. Number three will be hydration. So 
Hydration, of course, I think we all intuitively know that we need to be staying hydrated throughout the day, using the cleanest version of water so that may be reverse osmosis, it may be spring water, but we also need to be making sure that we have proper minerals added back to our clean water so that we really have proper hydration. So I'll show you, um, this is a pink sea salt. I'll put the link in the description below. This is a sea salt made by Premier Research Labs. And another version would be Celtic sea salt. And I'll put that link as well in the description, but properly mineralizing our water with say a tablespoon of these salts in a quart of clean water. That makes all the difference because again, our bodies are electrical and we need that sodium and the magnesium, potassium in the proper ratios to restore the proper electric component of our bodies. Number four, that'll be cold therapy. And so a lot of people have heard in the biohacking world about cold plunging and they sell cold plunging pools. Well, we can do that at home without having to buy a cold plunging pool. So other options for that would be doing an ice bath. So just filling up your bath water. Um, it doesn't have to be all the way full, but enough where you can immerse your body and then adding enough ice where you can get it to a good cool temperature. Another way that we can do this is by taking your regular warm shower and then toward the end, just increasingly making it colder. So just moving it toward the cold as we're in the shower, it can become a little tougher, but I find that transition is a little bit easier than just jumping into an ice bath. So these are two other options um, and they work great. So it's the temperature change that is actually helping our electron transport chain uh, shorten. And so the cold plunging is important. And then number five is actually heat therapy. So again, on the other end of the spectrum, adding heat in, and that can be through a far infrared sauna, which I know that's a little expensive. Not everyone has that in their homes, but they can do a membership at a spa or at a health club that has the far infrared sauna. So that is one option. Another option is just make your own heat at home. And so that may look like a hot bath, make it to, again, don't have to be full immersion, but put your body in, um, you know, with just your head sticking out for as long as you can tolerate, but that's usually, you know, about 10 minutes and then, you know, stepping out. Another way is with an infrared heating pad. So they make those now, and I have one that's actually made with jade stones. So it's a true infrared heating pad. And uh, some people use it for pain, they'll use it for inflammation, but just actually doing the heat therapy um, on your core, so on the front and then the back, that actually is very therapeutic. And again, it's going from those temperature extremes, the cold and then the heat, or doing the heat therapy and then finishing with the cold, but very therapeutic. And it actually does get your mitochondria humming again, it actually helps the mitochondria to multiply. Number six is massage. So actually having um, someone, you know, massaging with their hands. And what this does is actually with the fascia, which is that there's actually a, a fine layer that's between our dermal and then our muscle layer of fascia. It's sort of like a little saran wrap and actually between the organs. So it's a, a protective layer, but within there, whenever you're doing massage and disrupting that fascia layer, it's actually creating more electrons. So this is another way, another benefit by doing massage. And you know, if you can do that once a month, but if you can do it more frequently, if you can do it once, once a week, that's outstanding. Number seven is actually HIIT training. So that's high intensity interval training. So there's a number of ways that you can do this. And again, you can kind of do this with the grounding and kind of hit two birds with one stone. So that may look like barefoot in your backyard in the grass. If you want to do some skipping, some squats, if you want to do some jumping jacks, but doing this actually does increase electrons. And so HIIT training has become very popular. There are a lot of lots of videos out um, you'll find on YouTube where people are showing different HIIT intervals. And again, it cuts your exercise in half, you know, doing that three to four times a week, good interval, good frequency, but it only takes, you know, between five and 10 minutes to get your workout in. Number eight is managing stress. And it sounds like, oh, that's an easy one. But for a lot of people, this is very hard to conquer. So we do know with research that increased cortisol 
does damage mitochondria. So not only does it take mitochondria out, but it out actually makes malfunctioning mitochondria. So what we can do by finding different ways to manage stress and cortisol, and that can be family stress with kids, that can be work stress, just different emotional stress, trauma. So just finding those different outlets and ways for us to bring that cortisol down, to lower our stress, and that way our mitochondria are just not having that burden to deal with. Number nine is diet. And we're gonna talk specifically about sugar consumption. We know that that is a problem worldwide, people just consuming too much sugar. And what's going on with the too much sugar is we're eating the sugar, the pancreas is actually stimulating insulin. And then over time, the body's hungry because of too much circulating insulin so that we eat more sugar and then it just becomes a problem to where the cells are no longer taking in the insulin because there's too much circulating. And so then you end up with this circulating insulin and sugar that's wreaking havoc on the body. It's kind of a catch 22 because the insulin resistance is damaging, reducing the number of mitochondria, causing malfunctioning mitochondria. And then the malfunctioning mitochondria is actually allowing the insulin resistance to go on. It's, you know, a catch 22. And so one thing that we can do is we can control the amount of sugar that we're putting in our bodies and actually doing um, more intermittent fasting. The intermittent fasting actually allows the body to go into autophagy and do some cleanup and allow, you know, the mitochondria to flourish and to do their job better. So watching the amount of sugar, but really spending that time doing intermittent fasting so that our mitochondria can be healthy. And then number 10, we're going to talk about supplements. So there's a few supplements. They're not very expensive. I will put all of these in the description box below so that you have a link to, to purchase these. CoQ10 is probably the most known supplement for boosting mitochondria function and, and boosting mitochondria number. The one that I take, it's made by Standard Process and it actually is, is a blend. So it's B Vitality with CoQ10. And so it has not only B vitamins, but it also has the CoQ10. And it also has a component RNA that I find very helpful as well. I get a boost of energy when I take this. I take it on a daily basis and I actually only have to take two a day. So it's a low dose and um, I really do see a difference with that. The second product that I'm going to talk about is Vitality C. And so this is an ascorbic acid. And so when we think ascorbic acid, yes, it's not whole foods, which we're always talking whole foods with our supplements, but this one in particular, it's a high antioxidant. And so what we're trying to get with this product being a high antioxidant is it actually protects the mitochondria. So um, this is probably just a staple that I always keep in. And then also what I'll mix in with my Vitality C in the third supplement I'll talk about is methylene blue. So the Vitality C keeps it's kind of does several things, the Vitality C, but it keeps the methylene blue from actually staining my teeth blue, but it also helps it to be absorbed better. So the methylene blue, um, and we do want to make sure when we purchase this, that it is USP grade and not reagent grade. Reagent grade may have trace heavy metals. We don't want that in anything that we're consuming. We're trying to get that out of the body. But the methylene blue is actually a very potent electron carrier. So it'll actually shorten the electron transport chain. And that's what we're trying to do to um, make more mitochondria. And this product, whenever you pair it with red light, is even more potent for boosting mitochondria. And then the last supplement I'm going to talk about is more along the lines of getting heavy metals and chemical residues out of the body. And so that zeolite, you can also use clinoptolite. Um, GI Absorb is one that Standard Process makes that is clinoptolite. And this will actually bind chemical residues and heavy metals and bring them out. So what these things are doing is just causing more work for the mitochondria and actually damaging the mitochondria. So if we can get the heavy metals out of the body and also those different chemicals, glyphosate, if we can find those and pull them out of the body with a product like this, this is liquid zeolite. And again, I'll have all of these products in the description box below, so you'll have a link to them. So thank you for watching. This was fun making this video, just talking about how we can lead healthier lives, how our mitochondria just, they're performance machines in our cells. And so 
making sure how we can keep them from being damaged and also just make them more abundant in number. I think that it's a win-win. So hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Dr. Katie Snow, helping you transform your health naturally.